All right, so hi, this is Two Curly Chicas. My name is Charlie. And I'm Shalu. I know a lot of you guys are like, uh, Two Curly Chicas, what's that about? But there are two of us. I've been in hiding. <laughs> She's just been busy, super yeah. busy. So, anywho, I wanted to ask Shalu some questions about her natural curly hair because she does have a different texture than I do. So, tell us, have you always been natural? When I was an adolescent, I did use a relaxer. And I would say I stopped using the relaxer in high school. So I was probably around 14 years old and I started letting it grow out, which was actually great. And I think around that time was when I got a real hot flat iron. So I didn't need the relaxer necessarily, but I was still straightening it. So the relaxer did grow out. I chopped off my hair, which um, got rid of the rest of the processed hair. And I was in essence, chemically natural, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was still um, damaging my hair a lot. So after uh, getting in touch with Charlie here, <laughs> <laughs> which is because of a lot of YouTubers, which is why I became natural, but then I saw her and I'm like, you got to go natural with me. So that's how yeah. we started. <laughs> kind of did it together, but <laughs> together. you were the first one to take the plunge as far yeah. as getting the diva cut, You're right. which really was life changing. And for me, that was a pivotal moment when I was really able to start wearing my hair curly on a regular basis and actually liked it. Yeah. So. And did you have feelings like when you first went curly or just let it be itself? Was it hard for you? At yes. First? I was very conscious and very aware that my hair was curly. Right. I just constantly felt different. Like if you were to just put on a jacket that you just felt was different, not really your style necessarily because you were used to wearing something different. It just really felt like, wow, I have this curly hair on my head. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just like, oh, I'm in a hurry and I'm going to wash it and just scrunch it because I don't really have time to do my hair. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually learned to really like it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but it was a process. Yeah. And how long do you think it took you to enjoy and like your curly hair? Especially when you've been straight for so long, it is like a process to get used to your hair. It's kind of like, whoa. But how long do you think it took you, honestly? I would say at least six months of wearing it curly um, and getting used to styling it curly. So that's the thing too, is you learn some techniques and you get it to where it looks good curly, but then you also have to replicate that at home. So learning how to do your hair, I was used to using flat irons, curling irons to manipulate my hair to make it look how I wanted it to look. So it was an adjustment with the styling techniques, doing it yourself at home. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, I still liked the way that I looked in pictures with my hair straight. So I would be okay with wearing it curly on a regular basis, but for a special event, I was thinking, oh, I want to straighten my hair for this event because right. I want to like look good, how I'm used to looking, I want the pictures to turn out. Um, so I would say probably six to eight months. Mm -hmm. And even now, I will look back and I do like the photos of myself with straight hair, but I would say maybe about a year later, mm -hmm. I actually wish that I had more photos of myself with curly hair. Right. So I'm kind of... It's yeah. still um, a journey. It is. And I even in my house right now, it's like I still have some photos with myself with straight hair. So it is a process. And I'm going two years natural, two years and three months. So it is a process. It takes a while to get that out of your mind of what you look like with straight hair. Because I did like it straight. And I had, I thought, pretty much healthy, uh, chemically relaxed hair. So this is something new to get used to. Now, what was it that helped you? The pivotal moment you mentioned as far as, um, was it the diva cut? Getting the diva cut? Tell us your experience yes, with that. Yes, I would say the diva cut was really pivotal. Um, I feel like the way that the stylist even discussed or talked about your hair um, and the way they made you feel about your hair was huge mm -hmm. as well. Um, well, I will never forget what April, my first Diva Cut stylist, told me. She said, you can't think of your curly hair as a second-class haircut mm -hmm. um, or hairdo. It's mm -hmm. not, um, you know, it's not, like I mentioned earlier, just when you don't have time to do your hair. And learning how to embrace your natural um, self, what, you know, was given to you. So I would say that was really huge for me. Yeah. Just being in this area, there's not much of um, association when it comes to girls with curly, natural curly hair. That's why we watch YouTube and we keep in touch with you guys. You guys keep us strong and keep us going. And shout out to Honey Curls because she's another curly girl. Nice that, girl. Yeah, she she's a great you. YouTuber if you guys want to watch her. She has great um, videos. She did the same thing, a diva cut. And same thing, she felt the same way. She's having this life-changing 
learning to accept e ourselves. And a big part of it, I think, went even deeper than just a haircut. How you look at yourself on the outside, and like we mentioned, the area that we live in is not very culturally diverse. I grew up in areas that weren't very culturally diverse, so learning to accept who you are, mm -hmm. really from the inside out. So that's why I say it was sort of life-changing, not yes. just for the hair, but mm -hmm. embracing and then feeling comfortable with wearing your hair natural and not trying to be something else or trying to look like someone else mm -hmm. and really feeling comfortable and confident this is who you are on the outside, but also on the inside, too. Yeah. And it's funny because I straightened my hair recently, and it, it felt weird because now I feel, Me too. I feel pretty, right? I, I feel pretty with curly I hair. I straightened it this week. Yeah, and it and was it like... Was so flat. Yeah. And I thought, well, it kind of feels like the old me. It looked yeah. like your old self. And then I washed it. <laughs> And I had it curly, and I went to work, and the next day in the bathroom, I'm like, oh, she's back. Yeah, It's exactly. like I had the volume back. I was, like, right. missing it. That's what yeah. I thought. I'm like, where's my hair? It just yeah. felt weird. And the whole time, I put it in a bun, no lie. I felt so weird yeah. with straight hair. I was like, I'm not used to it. Not like it's a bad thing, but it was just like, I'm not, I'm used to being this. It's so weird. Like, you're. I feel pretty with curly hair, even though it needs a trim. I still feel prettier this way than I did with straight hair. I don't yeah. know. And for all of you girls out there who like might be hesitant, give it a while. Mm -hmm. I, I actually made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to straighten my hair for so long because I knew that mm -hmm. I was used to straightening it. So if you kind of give yourself a little bit of a challenge or maybe see how long you can go without straightening right. it, like I kind of was, let's see how long I can go. That's what I, I did. I challenged myself. I so, did too. I challenged myself and it helped. Yes. Yeah. It really did because you're like, no, I'm not going to straighten it, you know. Yeah. I did kind of like six months no I said I, I said three months then I said another three months and then I was like month to month but I just it kept going and it took me a year and two months or three months to finally straighten my hair but even then it just felt weird you're just so used to being big and letting it just be itself crazy you adapt yeah you learn to love it yeah exactly it's great hairy girls enjoy it so have fun <laughs> yeah have fun with your curls thanks again for watching us um, I'm again Charlie Shalom. And we'll talk to you girls later. Bye. Bye.